In this next problem, we are asked to reduce this complex fraction into a simple one. If you inspect all parts of this complex fraction, you will see that we have the denominator a plus 2 being common to this and this fraction. So what we'll do next is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that expression a plus 2. So a plus 2 times, we can already consider this as one term, a plus 2 times quantity a minus 2 will give us this. And a plus 2 times this expression, you can cancel out the a plus 2, will leave us with positive quantity a minus 2. A plus 2 times A is, or can be, written as A times quantity A plus 2. And A plus 2 times this expression, again, you can cancel out the A plus 2 terms, and you'll be left with negative of this quantity. So negative quantity 3A plus 12. Okay. We can multiply these two and have a squared minus 4, this is the product of the sum and difference of two same terms, plus a minus 2. For the denominator, we distribute a over a plus 2 and we'll have a squared plus 2a. And if we distribute the sign, we have negative 3a minus 12. We combine what we can combine, and in the numerator, that will leave us with a squared plus a minus 6. And in the denominator, we'll have a squared minus a minus 12. We can have the factors here. For a squared plus a minus 6, we have a plus 3 times a minus 2. We can check that. a squared negative 2a plus 3a is a, and uh, positive 3 and negative 2 is negative 6. And for the denominator, we have um, a minus 4 times a plus 3. Checking, a squared, 3a minus 4a is negative a, negative 4 times positive 3 is negative 12. And then you can see the common factor a plus 3 leaving us with the final answer a minus 2 over a minus 4. So this is the simple fraction which is equivalent to this complex fraction.